Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see how to load a data from a CSV file into a MySQL table using load data in file statement. Okay, since we are going to load from an external file into a table, definitely we need this. The source will be the external CSV file and the target will be the uh, MySQL table. So the one thing we need to uh, note down here is that when you are loading from an external file into a table, we need to make sure that the table isn't compatible with the data source. So what I mean by compatible here is whenever you are loading a data, the data type should match the number of column you are going to load should match. For example, in this case, so here is a CSV file I'm having, uh, which contains like uh, eight column. So definitely I need to have a uh, eight columns in the table and the data type should match. For example, the employee number, I'm going to load into an employee number column, which is of integer type. Same way, the next is like name of the employees. I'm going to load into the ename column of a varchar type. Uh, uh, similarly, the rest of the columns like president into a sorry job into the job column, the manager information into manager column of integer type. The date actually right now I'm storing as a varchar only because normally when you are storing from a date from an external file into a database, we need to convert into a right appro appropriate date format. Otherwise, it will throw error at the execution time. So first I'm storing as a uh, varchar. Then when we are querying, we can convert into a date format. So the next is a salary information, obviously like a integer column. Uh, the next is like a commission and the department information. Okay. So uh, make sure uh, you have a, the table and is compatible with the data. Then we can start the loading process. Okay, so here is the syntax of how to load the data from an external file into MySQL table using this load data statement. As you can see here, this is taking few uh, informations like uh, uh, in file class. So this says the information about source file. So here we need to give the complete path of the CSV file, whatever you are going to say. The next is into class, into table class. So the into table will say the target table name. So make sure you give the uh, schema name dot table name explicitly so that it just connects and load it. Uh, the next is like field terminated by. Since this is a comma separated file, so we are mentioning the field terminated as comma. The next is like line terminator. So the line terminator will say where the line ends. So here is the new line character. Okay, let me now execute and show you the data load process. Okay, I'm, I'm just making sure um, the data table is not there. So I'm just dropping if it is there. Now I'm just creating the table here. Now the table is created. Let us just query the table. So definitely there will not be any record just to check whether the table is created or not. Yes, the table is created and there is no information in the table. Now let us uh, connect to the command line and then we'll execute the load data statement connect to command line and then you can execute the load data statement. So make sure the uh, path is correct. Make sure the uh, table is compatible. Otherwise, when you execute this statement, we'll get the runtime error. Okay. Let me just uh, uh, ent enter this. Let me just execute the statement. Okay. After executing, if you are saying that query OK, followed by the number of rows affected, that means the data is successfully loaded. Otherwise, you will be getting some error, uh, meaningful error message saying that uh, why the information is not loaded properly. Now that the data is loaded, let us just check our table. Okay, so as you can see here, the information from the CSV file has been loaded successfully into the table. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates. Please share your comments.